Hi everyone, Brian here from Black Ops Toys. Wanted to do an unboxing of this guy. He's a couple years old. Uh, Neo Japan 2202. I think that's the futuristic year this guy comes from. Uh, this is made by a company called Devil Toys. And we've had a couple of their figures. And again, futuristic, robot, really, really cool. So let's get into it. Let's just do that right there. A certificate of authenticity, Johnson Ting. All right. Let's pull him out. Let's see what we got. So, stands by himself. Body's nice and tight. It's got robot arms, which I absolutely love. And this head sculpt is fan freaking fantastic. Hoot nanny, who's your daddy? That's what that is. Uh, knee pads, vest is cool. Check that out. Like communications, maybe. Little computer back here. So I believe this head lights up and with that, you do need to get batteries. Um, I do not know what size. If you do, please make sure you leave that in the comments below. But it looks like that front end will light up. And that's held in place, it looks like, by a magnet. Very, very good idea. All right, let's show you what else this guy comes with. Looks like we have a pouch. The pouch is always good, it's black. And we have these guys, and these guys go over the arms and cover up the robot arm. That's what those are, just in case you didn't know. Looks like it comes with saddle style stand. And here's the equipment. So futuristic shotgun, looks like a shotgun. Some kind of futuristic gun. We have a baton. We have some Grenades. These are really cool. We saw these with their first release. They're great for futuristic bashes. Uh, nice colors. So if you're into Christmas, you'd probably like these. Looks like a little communication device. Ooh, pistol. Looks like the magazine does come out. And we have some extra hands. Everybody needs a hand. And this guy, that's a nice platform. So, says the futuristic year on there. It's metal, it's very cool. Oh. Bam, look at that. So, let's get into this. Paton, this is a Molly attachment, Molly attachment. And that could fit anywhere on this guy. Anywhere you see a loop, you could attach that. So, it does come out. So, Gun. I like the uh, targeting system. This is a one piece. Let's see what's in the bag. Always goodies in bags. Very, very cool. Let's see. So, extra pistol magazines. These look like speed mag holders. And again, these are Molly. So that right there would fit anywhere on here. And he has a couple, a couple of them. Pistol itself. Magazine does come out. So this guy looks like it holds. One of those guys. This could go around the arm or the leg. The pouch. Does buckle shut. Let's see what else. Pistol holster. Oh, good fit. Very good fit. Everything is pretty much already on this guy, so there's not a lot of build um, involved. So if you're just starting out, this is a fantastic figure. But 
easily put this stuff together. I like the knee pads. We could cut these strings, use the glue dot, and fasten them down. Notice the boot is two-piece. This allows for more posability. So, all in all, very cool figure. Uh, very cool pieces. A lot of good stuff on here to use for a futuristic robot bash. But I'm a big fan. And we do have these for sale on the website right now. These are an older figure, um, and they're getting a lot harder to find. So if you like this video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of new content like this. Oh.